Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. I create premium WordPress plugins and sell them on Code Canyon. So I got the question from you guys, which SVN am I using for my plugin development? So I decided to make a video on this. I create my plugins locally on my local computer and I have a folder here that is committed to an SVN and I'm using Tortoise SVN to manage it. So I will make an extended video in the future on this, on how to set it up and how to exactly manage SVNs from your local computer. So if I make a change to a file, let's say to a zip file here, let's add simply a space then the green tick will disappear and we can commit it. When we will commit this, we can add a comment here and uh, document what we changed in the index file. Also, we will be able to reward the changes or make a diff on the current version and the currently committed version. So if we make a diff, then we will see that the space was added here and it was not there before. And it is here now. So we can make the differences more clearer and more understandable. Also, another cool feature is that we can reward the file to the last uh, version that is checked in. I must move myself from the way here and here's the OK button. So let us reward this file now. And after reward is complete, the tick is back and the file is back to its original version which was committed. So you can see that all plugins that I developed so far are committed on this SVN I have here. And this SVN is actually um, communicating with my Dropbox account. So this SVN is a repository that is locally found on my hard drive but it is located exactly in a folder that is synced with uh, Dropbox. So the SVN like this will be synced with my Dropbox. Okay, so this is all I wanted to show you guys on how I manage my SVN with <coughs> Tortoise SVN and until next time don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get also the extended video in which i will show you how to set up tortoise svn and how to set up its uh, linkage with for example uh, dropbox which i am using and also for other videos on tutorial videos wordpress and wordpress plugins themes Keep subscribed to this channel and until next time, have a great day. Bye bye.